I'm Julie. I'm Alyssa. I thought I was going to catch you. I know. You. Oh. I threw you off, didn't I? This is Stitching at the Cabin. It is. Today is Mar April, April 2nd, 2nd, which is a Thursday. The Tooth of it April. It is the Tooth of April. I mean, it's month end at work, which is why I look grumpy. One of many reasons I look grumpy. <laughs> Have we got a story for you? <laughs> yeah, we do. Not There's no related. closure on this one yet, though. <sighs> this will be an ongoing saga, but it's interesting. <laughs> you should stick around. This might be on. Unrelated. Sorry. It involves the police. Po-po. That's the sound of the police. Po-po. Po-po. Not poo-poo. That's totally different. Totally po -po. different problem. I have some whips. Yeah, I do too. I don't have a finish. Neither do I. I don't have a new strut. No. I have some haul. You lot, lots. And we have other. For the story. And? The thing we forgot last mm -hmm. week. The thing we keep forgetting. Yeah. Let's start with the thing we keep forgetting. So, oh yeah, because we're going to just forget it again. Closet's done. Downstairs. <laughs> Downstairs closet. In the office. The office closet. It's been done. And we said we showed it to you. And then we didn't totally forgot to talk about it. And then after I finished filming, I went, "Oh, Alyssa, I forgot about the closet. Make sure you just add that in because she already have the pictures and stuff. So just do a little voiceover, add it in." I forgot. And she forgot. <laughs> so here it is now. Here's the closet. closet. It looks cool. It's an office yeah. closet. Has the, office I, stuff. I have not seen the before picture, but I, apparently it was really bad. So we don't live in a pig hole. I promise. Yeah. It's just. It's just there's a lot in the closet. So. And then there wasn't quite so much in the closet because we moved it out and... Yeah. Yeah. Sounds right. Anyway, that's the closet. Woo! It's much handier. Although yeah. I, I have a hole punch that's up in my desk in the open thing mm -hmm. and I need to get that lower because I have so much stuff I have a hole punch just because usually Taco's on my lap and I'm like, I don't want to stand up because I'd have to move him, move the blanket, hole, get the hole punch. I need to find a better place for the hole punch. You should find a better place for the whole punch. On my desk with the chatelaine and the temperature tree on my desk, which I think I've remembered the temperature tree this time. Yeah, it's back there. Okay, it's ditchy stuff. Keto. Do it. <laughs> That's yours. Keto. Don't look at me. Well, I didn't know if you had something you no, I don't needed care. to go with first. I do not care. I'm shoving There's... all my needle miners into this little tiny hole. <laughs> Oh, the needle miners are like, reach. <laughs> this keto. I did hit 4,000 stitches again for another national park, and I took a picture, but Yay! I haven't, I haven't updated it yet. But I will. It's exciting. I will. I took did a you picture. see someone's post saying that they're, is it okay if they do all the national parks the second time? <laughs> Can I just vent for a minute? <laughs> this is keto. I work still. Well, essential. Full time. I work full time. Well, essential. Doesn't matter that I work from home. I still work full time. Always have. Almost always have. <laughs> so, the company I work for is giving employees one day off paid so that they can spend time with their families, they can avoid the virus. You know, Whatever. It's really, very, very nice. The two people that don't get that. Not you. Well, she's already part time. So it didn't count. I work full time and I don't get that. I still have to work 40 plus. My husband also has to work 40 plus. And now our son is going to work to cover for people that are off. So he's learning how to do what we do. I mean, basically the entire world explodes and I still can't have a day off. <laughs> she just wants a day off to stitch a lot. I think tomorrow I might get a part of a day off because we're switching to a new server and it has to, we have to stop. Stop touching the computer at one. So... Well, that would lead you to believe that the next four hours after yeah, one... Yeah, that I wouldn't have to work. But somehow... Free. Next week, I'm going to be like in tears because I had to work again while everybody else is off and stitching and doing amazing things. I see all these posts about gardening and going for walks and cleaning the house and spending the time house together. And, and I'm like, yeah, yeah, no, my life didn't, didn't, 
Yeah. Nothing's really changed except it's harder yeah. to get chicken. And it was harder to stitch because of what? I guess kind of busy for the rest of like month end. It's busy. I am whining. I am not going to whine. That was keto. Annie Steg, heaven, hey, hey, heaven and earth design. We're happy. Ah. Uh, two over one, 25 cal. Yes. I did it. You did. I verify that you are correct. Uh, I did work on my Charmaine. And I did successfully nag Christine enough that she's working on hers. And thank you, Heather Confetti Stitcher, for also stepping in there and asking her about it. I was very much amused by that. <laughs> so, you can see I did stuff. Those were before and after. Figured it out. <laughs> totally kidding. <laughs> I did a thousand and one little orange lace stitches. A yeah. thousand and one. Those orange ones. Those little BB lace stitches. Ugh. There's 14, I think, in each section. And there's four sections, so mm. someone could do that math, but not me. Somebody. Whatever 28 times 2 is. 56? No. Yeah. Yeah. 56? That doesn't seem like enough. I think there's more than that. <laughs> I just um, don't believe it. Okay. The oh, oh, no. There's two things that we don't have in common. So. I did work a little bit more on the stack. Not a whole heck of a lot. Things kept happening. Oh my gosh! <laughs> that's, that's a lot. Yeah, that's well, a lot. Yeah, but there were like eight stitches in before. So there's, there's my little. Stop, stop trying Rex. to read my face. I yeah. just need to do the picture. It's, it's fun. Um, so far, the only color changes the white, I'm using a pearl. <laughs> I can't say that, but the pearl cotton, so it's thicker. And then um, that green is not the green that's called for. Looks good, though. Thank you. Looks natural. Thank you. It doesn't look weird. Um, I have a little bit of haul that's in this bag, so I'm just going to show it to you now. <gasps> I got an Ed Keep. <laughs> it's a thread keep, but Ed makes them. Ed Brown. If you need the link, Christine has it. Go to a Christine video recently. She has it. Um, it, but, smells oh, so it smells so good. good. Oh, it's because it's the oh, burned wood. I've I've been mm. smelling it. It's like, like the best parts of a campfire. This is why the project's not done, because I'm like... Mm. That's actually really relaxing. This is like a mini vacation. Yeah. No, really, that, no, I know. that relaxes me. Good. Anyway. I should just get you a necklace really? of burnt wood. You can just... It's brown and brown creations. Let me help you with that. There you go. I wish we had smell a vision so you could smell it. <laughs> Although if we had smell a vision, I wouldn't have talked like that he's on my lap again. I've discovered it's just easier to keep him than to foist him on others. Steve. Uh, I, ca I can't trust him alone. I mean, he would die in a couple of hours because he can't drink water. He can't find his food. Like he's got all these lines. He can't see anything except the imaginary stuff. He sees all the things that don't exist. He came skipping into the room a few minutes ago and then went, "Yar!" was like freaking out like you're just walking buddy yeah. <laughs> I don't know what you saw I, I was her. way behind him I didn't kick him last night I had to take his collar off because twice he got his foot caught in his collar and, he <laughs> and the second time I had already gone to bed and Steve came in so to say good night and to bring me taco I mean I'd only been in the bedroom a few minutes but I just laid down in bed and we both hit oh oh and Steve's like, what's wrong? And they said, last time he got his foot caught in his collar. So he uses his phone to turn on the light and we're looking. And he's like, ow, ow, ow. But then he's growling at Steve. He doesn't want Steve to touch him. So he's like, ah, ow, ow, ah. I'm like, ah, oh, oh, you. man. <laughs> but Chihuahuas. Steve got him unhooked before I could help him. So we just took the collar off so it wouldn't be a night of, ah. <laughs> All right. <sighs> Leah, are you watching? I did some of it. Despite your, <laughs> <laughs> I, it's time consuming, and and because something's wrong, I keep having to change other stuff, Get and I'm creative. worried that the the dinosaur, the dragon neck, is gonna end up being like way too skinny, or way just. There's so many things wrong, but there's a dragon. Chances are nobody will notice. 
chances. Most of the changes are up here in the top, like I did some of that color and I did more of his neck and there's some more of the actual castle done. But all in all, I didn't get a lot done. Um, not because I didn't have time, but mostly because it's time consuming and I'm still having to deal with the blends. And then the one color that I really wanted to do, the one that would fill in his neck, I didn't have it. It's a blend and one of them I didn't have. I thought I had gotten everything the last time, but no, apparently I did not. That's disappointing. Shh. Nothing happened. That's disappointing. I'm sorry. Nothing to see here. Nothing to see here. Except that you, there is something to see here. I yeah. worked on my, well, my wheel didn't spin it. I told you I had to work on my tree. Yeah. So I did, you'll see in a moment. But I also decided um, I was not just satisfied with that. I also wanted to. You made a hairbrush? I made a hairbrush. <laughs> I know, I forgot that was in there. Um, I also wanted to work on my afghan. She's pulling so, out all the floss. Oh, I was going to take off the Q-snap for you, next but week. I didn't. Take it off next week. Sorry. I, I, I had to move it's it. Beautiful. You're going to want to put your hand behind that side over there. Because, yeah, there you go. Because otherwise it looks like you did bad things. There you go. Can you see yeah. that? See, I moved the Q-snap over to the side. So I did well done. this leafy and some of the so berries pretty. over there. Those berries weren't there before. I did much more of this. I did that whole line down there. So next I'm gonna do these little leafy things all the way across and then I'm gonna work on more of the letters. Um, Cause mostly with those over here is just back stitching vines. There's actually no more leaves or anything for a while. So, so pretty. and especially on camera too. I love how vibrant it looks. Yes. It's so pretty. One day I'll start mine. <laughs> One day. Uh, that reminds me though that because um, Audrey's fabric is backloaded. Um, I was I told you I bought some floss from Italy for that yes. thing Alyssa calls delightful what we're just gonna call it the delightful one. The it's one that had the alphabet, alphabet but it but looked like it said she words. Thought it said delightful. Somebody else did uh, too. <laughs> um I got most of them, but there's one that's missing and that's one that actually came from Italy and I still I bought it March twelfth and I still hadn't heard anything and then I went back into the Etsy shop and they had a banner thing on the front saying that they can't ship until sometime in May, so... That'll come eventually. I will not be working on Delightful For anytime soon. But I know we have other things to show, but look how pretty some... Okay, I'll wait. No, I'm gonna talk. I'm gonna <laughs> Just you already thing. started. I already started. Look at these other pretty ones. This is what comes... This is what came yesterday. Yeah. Actually, this came a couple days ago. No, it came yesterday. No, one, two, three stitch came yesterday. Oh. And this was from Dames of the Needle. But these are the little me's creations. So delightful. So that one that's ah! missing... I, that. I did it intentionally. It I know good. you did! Why would you do that, you monster? So You're showing them stuff and then you pop, pop. Ah! The color that's missing is called Tiffany, and it is the, the Tiffany color, the stereotypical when you think of Tiffany. Not like the potion, but you know, like the jewelry. I thought this was Tiffany. It's close to that. Okay. It's a little, I think it's a little more of this, that. Mm. Less green, more blue? A little bit. Okay. My shoulder still hurts. Okay, bookshelf? So Not bookshelf. Fairy tale? Tree. Yeah. That fairy tale is the is bookshelf. bookshelf. I'm aware. Yeah. And zeros and circles and <laughs> zeros and <laughs> she's, O's are hard. She's trying to lead somebody a P.O. number today. One of the customers called and needed an invoice. She has the P.O. number. And this is like C. P. Zero. Not zero. The other circle one. Yeah. The other... The other the, uh, Round like, oh, I mean, she's on the phone trying to say, oh, and can't think so of it. She did it twice because she had to call someone else and ask after she did it so again. Hard. When O's <laughs> and zeros are side by side, the zero blocks out the O and my brain shuts off. <laughs> I can't do it. It's just, it's a zero or circle or oval. Oh, oh. Oh. So when the guy called back and you edited it, he said it with the... We couldn't find... <laughs>
find CP other circle zero zero blah blah blah. We couldn't find it. Yeah, I was amused. <sighs> I've gone back to clown tree, kind of. I don't know what I have. It's fine. It went Why from like you? the thirties to like the forties and fifties, so it's pink, green, blue, pink, blue, green. Not in that order. I moved my cue snap on this one too, so I could do the the April branch a little better. I'm gonna have to move my cue snap soon. Yeah. Then we won't be able to see the tree, the whole tree, and nothing but the tree. Ooh. Ready? Pull. Wow. Yeah. They look very similar. They are. Oh, very similar. Mine's a little colder. I thought you no. caught up. I thought you did today's. Not today. Yeah. I can't do today's because it doesn't solidify until mm. tomorrow. Solidify. <laughs> it doesn't like finalize, you know? But yeah. overall, the branch looks like it's in the right place, right? Because I'm like real paranoid about that. I don't know. Probably. The other leaves almost matched up. It looks <laughs> not <laughs> almost. I had not like issues, mine, so. but it's fine. All right, good. Mm -hmm. um, some of you may know I'm doing uh, blending filament in with the leaves when it rains. But the last month I haven't done the blending filament part because I ran out and I haven't gone back over to do them yet. So there's... I gave it to... I gave it she a did. whole she did. spool. So there's like 10 or more days that should be shiny and aren't yet. Correction. I lent her a spool because I needed it to my wizard. I did not give well, it. Well, I mean, except I that not you're not giving... Give I'm not like, you're not taking some of it back, like you're not... I'm taking the unused portion yeah. back, but I'm not going to go pick it out of the thing. Right. But, but I just want to be clear, lending... Landing. It's fine, you know, it's just my birthday. Seems like you should have just give it to That me, was the least okay. important day last week. <laughs> Thanks for the birthday wishes to the people. You're who welcome. Happy birthday. Mm, not you. She's mean. <laughs> Everyone else, though. What? We bought a unicorn cake with Ice bad cream. cream. true. It's delicious. I'm taking it home today. Oh! I saw you guys eat some of it the other Steve. day, but. Steve ate it. Yeah. I would like to cut a piece off before you take it. Maybe. But I had a cone, an ice cream cone horn, and like white chocolate ears. It's like the clown cake I had when I was little, but better. Okay. But the cone's mine. I'm eating the cone. We actually worked on bookshelf a couple of times. Yeah! I felt pretty good about it. It's a lot of stitches. It was, I think for me it was a combined 300 stitches. She stitched it on one day, I didn't because she stitched on it while oh, we were working one yeah. day, but only a tiny bit. We're going to do that same thing when she holds mine and I hold hers. Yep. Because, you know, we don't sit on the same side when we stitch as we do when we talk on this. Can you see yeah. any of that? Top, right Ooh. corner, top, left corner. Ooh. Have you all seen it enough? Stuff I don't want to get caught on the... That's as close as I could get. <laughs> observing it? You're observing it? Okay, you get no more observation. Observing it? Pretty! <laughs> yep! So, I mean, stuff's happening. Slowly, but it's happening. <laughs> it's happening. Slam! Yeah, you're just throwing I everything just today. It. That's so weird. In my okay. head, there was one more thing, but I guess that's it. <laughs> that's it. <laughs> la 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 la. Oh, la, you la. even have a new start slot, but neither I know, of us did anything. I and a finished anything. slot, but I didn't get to work enough on the stack. I have a new start. I just haven't started it. Yeah. But the stuff came yesterday from one, two, three stitch. Okay, so I have. I have haul. I showed you that from Dames of the Needle. I have a few other things um, as well. Plymouth Rock, Chai, Honeycomb, Portabella, and Buttercup. And these are for, I think, I think, these are for that acorn thing from Market from Blue Flower. I saw in the one with the squirrels. Oh. Yeah, I think. But I know I bought it for a reason, and I'm pretty sure that's why. And then there's one that was backloaded that they're shipping, and then there's one that was just plain out of stock, and I couldn't buy it. So I am going to have to force myself to order it again at some point. Oh, no. The agony. I bought a bunch of stuff all at once. 
not so much like the what if I can't buy it again, but some stuff went on sale and then I was like, well, I have the money. I mean, I'm working full time. <laughs> so, so I just bought a bunch of stuff. Bunches and bunches of stuff. While you're pulling stuff out, I like to point out that I'm considering buying a larger Q-snap for my afghan. So if you're working on something like the afghan, because the count on the fabric is so high, you really have to move the Q-snap kind of a lot, and I'd like to be able to see more of it at once, so I recommend getting larger Q-snaps. She hasn't tried it yet. She didn't know. That's true. That's true. But, like, I'm, I want a 17 by 17. So, but that's tough. That's what the Chatelaine's on. That's mm -hmm. tough. I think you should do 11 by 17. I don't know. That just seems wonky. You look wonky. I know. Wait, I'm wonky. maybe it would match well then. A little wonky. Yeah. Okay, go These ahead. These are, um, sulkies. I don't know why. No, <laughs> we had a conversation yesterday about what those were for. Something from Wilkit, because I bought everything all kind of at the same time. But I don't know which one. I think these are both for the spring one that I bought, the Luhu stitches one. The blue one is in Afghan. Yes, that's Tropical Waters. Mm -hmm. That is also in Afghan. Um, old Money. That's which I still think is the weirdest name. It does look like old money. It's kind of comforting. Yeah. It looks like really, really old money. Um, that's for something. Don't know what. And then these, I do know what they're for. These are the DMCs that I did not have for Rosewood Manor's language of the flowers, which is what I was supposed to start, but I didn't start because I didn't have the fabric. I have a question. Okay. Um, this is a question I asked you that you didn't know, so I'm going to ask them. Oh, I was like, I still don't know then. <laughs> no. You, uh, so that's just regular DMC that you got off of 123Stitch because yes. you because we're I can't go to like stuff. Michaels, I can't go to Joanne's, and they're all I can't closed. go to Hobby Lobby. Right. Everything's closed. And... But you still said it's fifty something cents, which is like normal price here. Six cents. Um, but people in the UK they pay a lot more for DMC. So my question is, if you live in the UK, can you not buy from One Two Three Stitch? My thought was, if you can, probably the customs. Is it cust not custom? What do they call it? Is it they call it customs? What you have to pay the 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 tolls, <laughs> the fees. The, I think it's custom. The shipping fees, yeah. Um, shipping tax. Not only just the fees to ship, but then you have to pay that customs thing. I think that's probably too much to make it worth it unless you bought like five master sheds. You think so? Though? I would think so. You think it's but a flat rate, or do you think it's based on the value of the objects or the size? Or I don't honestly know. Well, that's my question. Why don't you buy it off of one, two, three, stitch? I feel like Jen would be a good one to answer that. I'm trying to think if I know anyone else. Leah is in Germany. Same basic question applies there. Yeah. I'm, I'm just curious. I mean, they the just must not. It just must not. I don't know. Those might be the only people I, I can think of at the moment that I know are out of the country. Yeah, I feel like it'd be pretty easy to just go on one two three stitch site and see if they ship everywhere or not and that would at least give you an idea but i didn't think to do that until yeah. now so well but that would be the same with like michael's joanne's like all that they'll ship it's 56 cents and i don't know if they'll ship it internationally but oh wait i don't think they ship it at all i think you have to go pick, pick it up. up that would be tough that would be a long <laughs> drive that might not be worth up. the money <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I'd say. Gotta take like a cargo ship across. Yeah. Something. So this is um, 28 count. Count. <laughs> Why are you reading it upside down? You could flip it around. <laughs> 28 count sand Lugana fabric. <laughs> I have to keep my upside downness working. So that's for the Rosewood Manor. It's also what I'm using for the bell pull, but I haven't started the bell pull and I'm. The one for the bell pull I don't think is 28 count, which is why I had to buy 28 count. Mm -hmm. So. <laughs> what is this? These are just what ones I didn't have. Doing? I had most of them. What okay. are we doing? So this was on sale. Sale. Sale, and I couldn't resist. It is uh, Odile by Just Nan, and I bought that this this cranic didn't come with it. I bought it. I still giggle. And oh dear! <laughs> I bought it and stuck it in there. I just love those deer faces. I don't know, they're so kind of goofy looking. <laughs> Aww. Aww. 
And so then I bought the um, 32 count platinum Belfast. Yes, I read it sideways because that's what's called for and I thought, yeah, that looks pretty. I can you, do you that. You have to read it sideways. <laughs> okay, pretty sure, Alyssa. And I also got this. <laughs> and I didn't know why. Oh, yes, you know we what? Did. Yeah, I think I figured this out. I think yeah. this is for the snowman, the raining snowman, snowing snowman. That thing. No, it's for something that you got the. No, that's what the platinum was for. Oh. I think this is for the snowy men. Oh, okay. I think. It's snowing, snowing men. And then a couple of these were on sale, and I'm going to tell you that they look terrible in person, like, printed. In yeah. The, like, the way they came, that looks... You'll see. But I've seen them sort of in real life. I've seen other pictures of them, and they look much nicer. But I really liked this one. It's Cooler Design Studio Spring Fever Sampler. Oh, I upset the dog. dog. <laughs> oh, yeah. Go over there. Goodbye. He's like, oh, there's a bag. I could pee on that. <laughs> you can read Lip this because I am. <laughs> no, that's an alphabet. <laughs> <laughs> right there. Oh, yeah, the Spring Fever Sampler. I said it. I just love the colors in that. Somebody's moving their trash can. Today was trash day. Thanks, Steve. I had to move my own trash can. And then another Rosewood oh, Manor. Separate. There we Sweet go. Baby. Dreaming of Iris. And I have to say, this has other things in it. <laughs> we had a whole discussion about that yesterday. There's a, a couple of patterns in here. If you wanted to do smaller things and stranger things and like a welcome home thing. And yeah. Don't mind us. The dogs <laughs> just real me. And then um, I have seen this. This is actually a kit. I didn't buy the kit. Like, I don't think they. He's so to me. He doesn't know who I am. He's confused. Oh, he's so confused. But uh, I have seen it in kit form and I have seen it partially done and it was really pretty. So I had it on my wish list and I think it was on sale. So I was like, okay. That's also Cooler Design Studios. Um, simple Treasures. So, yeah. That's my haul. I had, I think I told you before, I bought some stuff from mybobbin.com, but it's, it has, <laughs> hi dog, it has a tracking number, but it's Russian, and I can only track it through Aftership. <laughs> and it went through all of Russia, it went through customs, it went all over the place, and now it's like sitting someplace waiting for USPS to do something with it. Honestly, it's a miracle that anything gets from point A to point B, so it's... I know. Like, who knows where it is? Who knows what's happening? But it's a miracle. <laughs> so all that's left is my bobbin stuff, and then that one thing, the Tiffany from Italy. And then I'm done receiving stuff, and I'm going to have to start buying again. <laughs> Darn. Um, we need to spin, wheel. spin the wheel. Hey, Siri. What am I stitching this week? I, I looked at you. Don't say that's what I want. That's wanted. what she wanted. She said that a little bit. Yay! She's like, I really hope I, I want to work on that. Oh, yeah, I forgot I had that. Lots of wheels. All kinds of wheels. Probably that one. Maybe. Oh, I have to do stuff with this, <laughs> you huh? You have to do stuff. Don't mind us while we, you know. You think by the 20-something <laughs> video we'd have gotten. Oh wait, This 20? might be in 30s. We, be in 30s. we, might we got a 400th 30. subscriber the other oh, day. Oh yeah. So thank you. I know who you are, but I can't say the name, but thank you. It started with the V, the last name. The van. You something. can't do that. I can't do the Afghan. Do it, I do it. Ready? Well, I was trying to decide if I should have a new start because of that. No. <laughs> Oh, super old project. Yeah, as you get a follow-up wheel. We have to change wheels. Uh, super old project. I don't know if I did. I didn't take wheel tail off of it. No, it was all, that's wow, Steve's that's baby. Wow, right on the line right there. Yeah, I was hoping it was going to go to wheels. <laughs> but uh, that's Steve's baby sampler that I did really little on. I'm, I'm not even sure if I can work on that because... I seem to remember there's a problem, but well, if there is a major problem, I see. No, not like that. Not like I stitched it wrong, but like 
something with the fabric or something. I don't know. Sounds like excuses to me. Do you know what I haven't worked on at all this year? What? Celtic Summer. That the is lavender true. and lace. Yeah. Because I keep track with the Teresa Little stitches. Yeah. And I've stitched every day. I've stitched at least one stitch every day of this year. But I have, that's wow. like the only thing that's zero for this year. That's sad. I know. The wheel says not today. Wheel says no. Wheel says. Not this year. Wheel says Afghan, which I think means Rosewood Manor, but. You should have put it in there if that's what you wanted. Yeah. 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 Okay, so we still have a closet. So, yeah, we have a story for you. It's work related. It's popo related. It started at the beginning of this week. We opened the story on Monday morning. I wasn't here Monday. No. So I will open the story yeah. on Monday morning. Oh, yeah, I got a text. That's why. I, I received a text from my husband saying. We are Mondays. closed over the weekend. Yes. To be clear, yes. we are closed over the weekend and Monday through Friday our business is open. So Monday morning he had to go to Long Beach to cover for an employee that had the day off because everybody but us gets a day off. Yes. So he went to Long Beach and he texts me and he says something about how amazing Mondays are. He tells me the trailer got stolen. Our mobile hose trailer which we take, like there's a company that does drilling and they have these massive rigs. I mean, <laughs> looks like a building. <laughs> They're huge <laughs> rigs. <laughs> ones. Exactly. And so they have oodles of hoses on them. So rather than the mechanics taking off a hose, driving to a location, being like, can you make 12 of these? Then going back and then getting another hose and saying, can you make six of these? And mm -hmm. back and forth, we Drive to them. Drive a trailer out to them, and we make the hoses for we them. Have all we, the equipment on board the trailer yeah. to basically be like a mini warehouse for specific jobs. But we they bring tell the hose us with ahead us ahead of time what the project is so that we have the right equipment, one of the right and materials, fittings, and stuff. I mean, there's some things I think stay in the all the time, but you know, yeah. Yeah. It's a mobile shop. Yes, and it's beautiful. My husband, uh, we bought the trailer, and he had it wrapped and he did so it has all the company the name all inside. over it it's beautiful he, it, it was pristine inside it was his baby i mean he came home that night and told me he loved it almost as much as the car that we built together like he was it's very custom very it was beautiful he very does well amazing done. work he is yeah. an amazing human i'm very lucky but so there's a weird light i was trying to get away to from avoid. oh well <laughs> i got it um some evil person. Yeah, somebody stole the trailer. So the trailer is kept in Anaheim, and it was in Long Beach, and the trailer, they came to work, and there was no trailer, so they, they notified It's very them. obvious Other when place. the trailer is missing. It's yes. not like in a storage facility. It's yes. at location. And none of the cameras caught anything. Due to an unfortunate turn of events. <laughs> yeah. So he called the police. And the police said, well, we need the VIN number and we need you to be there. So he said, okay, I'll call you back tomorrow because he's going to be in Anaheim the next because day. Because he didn't have, because he was at the other location, yeah. so he didn't have all the information. And apparently they can't file a police report, a yeah. stolen vehicle without the VIN of the trailer. So fast forward Even to though the trailer is completely covered in our company information, like it's not just like a white trailer no. that's like, you know, it X feet long. Head to it's toe of the company. Very clearly you would know that it's not someone else's trailer. It's but. pretty obvious. You won't trick anyone into thinking that shows. No. So, nothing else happened Monday. We were just all in mourning over this trailer. Yes. We were all angry and sad. Oh, well, we all did get onto various apps, like you did. Offer up. And I was on Voulage Sale, and he joined, or not joined, Because there's he some did very standard things list. that are in the trailer, and like, Dad knows what's in the trailer. Yeah. So and there's some slightly unique as well. So if those we try to keep an up, eye out for those yeah. things in the general area, because yeah. who knows where they are? I mean, we don't know anything, but general area, just, just trying, hoping, trying. hoping that we spot something. Yeah. Okay. So Tuesday. <laughs> Boom. <laughs> Day two. <laughs> so. <laughs> Uh, we don't even know when it's still on at this point. Mm -mm. It was over the weekend. That's all we know. Because an employee had been there on Saturday at on like Saturday 3 o'clock. And it was still there. And it was, uh, no, so. it wasn't open, but the employee just happened to go. I think he was using the dumpster or something. And he said it was definitely still there at 3. So somewhere so, between Saturday at 3 and Monday at 8, 
it, yeah, and we knew that the locks had been cut on the gate because it was in an enclosed, locked, gated area. The locks had been cut, but the locks were also gone. And it had one of those toe thingies, toe lock thingies that was super crazy thick. So we were really surprised they were able to even do anything. Anyway, whatever. So, Tuesday. He had taken my son to work with him, even, even though Steve wasn't supposed to go till Wednesday, but he took Steve because Steve is 18 and he has excellent vision. <laughs> and so they were going to look, um, at footage. look at footage because we found out that the people across the street had camera footage. So he took Steve so that they could look at that. And also because Steve offered to help him install different security cameras should they need a rest. <laughs> so he took him for that. So oh, and also to be trained for his work the next day. <laughs> not as important, not interesting. So they scrubbed through the footage of the people across the street from the business. I don't know. I don't know that they had looked at the footage yet from across the street. I don't think they did that till they got back. Oh, I thought you were gonna mm -hmm. go there first. No, okay. I was going in in order. Well, so I didn't remember which one. Was all of this is coming through Steve from here throughout pretty much the rest of the day. This is all through Steve, so I could be mistaken. But um, fortunately, he was kind enough to text throughout the day. Steve texts and says. I'm not doing whatever it was I asked him because we're going to the trailer. What do you mean you're going to the trailer? The trailer has been stolen. Of course, he's like, well, like what I said, we found yeah. the trailer. <laughs> <laughs> what do you mean? So I don't know exactly how this happened, but apparently the police had come that morning and my husband had given them the information. So and it was reported stolen. And that was that. But he got a call from a woman saying, why is your trailer in front of my house? Because so. our company name is all over the trailer. <laughs> and the phone number and everything else you need to know. So he's like, oh, thank you so much for calling. And he got an address. And then I think he called the police to tell them, hey, it's here. And they said, don't touch it. So he said, okay. And then he went and touched, touched it. it. <laughs> but, uh... Uh, I guess the woman had reported it to the police, the one that called, but the police said it's not stolen, we're not doing anything about it. So, so we don't know when she reported it, if it was that yeah, same day. I or... don't know. But at some point, she just went out and got the phone number and called, which, yay, thank yeah. you. So if you see odd vehicles or odd things in front of your house, please call someone, anyone. Maybe not the mailman, but someone. <laughs> so, um, what happened next? So, they went to the trailer. That's right. They found the trailer in front of this woman's house and dad opened the trailer because the outside looked fine mostly, Most, mostly on first glance it all looked fine turned out they tried to peel off the wrap and in, in a few places, places and they tried to burn the vin number off but not successfully no I, mean, I, feel, I feel like they realized it wasn't worth the effort or something but they yeah. we opened the trailer it was we come <laughs> They, whatever they, completely we empty. felt like we were there <laughs> completely empty completely empty Everything was Except gone. for two posters and a pizza crust. Yeah. Empty. Everything was gone. So, Everything. mom and I are in detective mode. Dad and Steve, I don't even really know what they're doing. At some point, well, a police officer yeah, showed up. the police showed up while they were there. But I don't know what they're doing. We are going into de so detective mode. We're like, okay, so it's over here now. So, you know, okay, what's around you? We looked at maps. We're like, okay, look, there's a Denny's over here and there's a Starbucks over there. And like, who, over who, there. who might have cameras? And then Steve texts and he's like, well, there's like this dentist. Sketchy. There's a sketchy, he said building, a sketchy building that has cameras. And there's a number on the window. Will you call? We're like, yes, send yeah. us the number. Okay. Turned out to be a dentist place. But clearly, she thought we were trying to rob and murder them. <laughs> I had to introduce herself and was like, hey, listen, I have a weird question, but we need to look at your cameras because our trailer was stolen and now it's outside of your property. She's like, what's the address? Mm, yeah, what's the address? I'm like, I, d I don't know. Your I'm dentist. What? It's your dentist. <laughs> outside your building. Go look so out the window. I'm frantically texting Steve, like, what's the address? He's like, of the dentist? I said, yeah, what's the edge? It's like, mom's like talking. Yeah, in the meantime, like, she's like quizzing me. Well, what does it look like? What color is it? What other vehicles yeah. are out there? You know, what's going I can't, on? I can't do you anything anyways. You're going to have to talk to the manager. Yeah, okay, well, can I have the yeah, manager's when, number? When, when will they when be available? When is the going to be there? Because we're there right now, not we, but like yeah. they, they're she right there right now. Between 10, 30, and 11. I'm like, okay, well, they're there now, and it's kind of a long drive. You know, is there any way I could just talk to the manager? Like, if you don't want to call, that's fine, but could you give me the number so I could call? 
and then she quizzed me and I gave her the address and then she's like she seemed to hmm. finally click realize like oh like there's people out there like they're yeah. like they're there right now like she there's put people me on hold forever. and so at that point Alyssa told me that the police were there so I thought she'd gone to the window looked outside saw the police and probably went out and talked to them but she came back and then she said um, it's okay We'll let them see the video. And I said, okay, great. But then she needed my cell phone number and my name. There was some confusion going on. I was like, whatever. But so I gave whatever. her whatever she needed. And we told Steve that yeah, they so said it's okay to look yeah, at the so camera. So I texted Steve and said, she said, and he's like, well, who am I supposed to talk to? I'm like, I don't know. I thought she came out and talked to you. And he's like, no. So it turned out the police had started to go over to look at the cameras. So Steve ran after him and said, hey, they said we could all see the cameras. So then they all went in and they filmed what they saw. And they found a white truck. White truck. White truck, white truck. You couldn't, couldn't see the plate, and you couldn't really tell what they were doing, like because they were sta they st stayed there, I guess, for a while yeah. and like walked back and forth, but you couldn't tell what they're doing. And the one camera that would have caught the plate wasn't connected because that's the way life works. Yeah, but now we know it was a white truck, and it was dropped off at a time, a specific time. We on knew the time specific day. on a specific day, so we knew at least when it was abandoned. And it was daylight. It was daylight because we yes, were afraid was. that it was going to be night, and we knew these other people had cameras, but maybe the cameras were bad. The ones across the street, like maybe it wasn't good enough to see anything at night. So it was but now we know it's during the day. That it was during the day, which is why they came back and went across the street to go start yes. scrubbing through the footage before that time when the trailer was dropped off, and after 3 p.m. on Saturday. And what they found, if I understand this correctly, was that there was a white truck that was loaded. It had a bunch of stuff in the back. And it pulled into a driveway and cut the locks. And then it backed out and it went down the street. Because it, it's a cul-de-sac. It, it's kind of a cul-de-sac on both sides, which is yeah. odd. It's sort of a... And then, it's a T cul-de-sac. Yeah. So it went down the thing and it did a U-turn in a business's parking lot and it came back out and it left. I think it was 40 minutes later, it came back, unloaded, went in, grabbed the trailer and hauled Took back off. out. <laughs> so, so we were able to see all too. of that on this other person's camera, but you still couldn't see a plate. You can't see the person or how many people. Really see anything. Just a white truck. And yep, they stole a driver, the trailer. They stole the trailer at X time and had it unloaded and at the dentist's office. Which is in a way time. different city. <laughs> yeah. At and it wasn't time. that much time that went between the two. So oh, they yeah. unloaded it pretty quickly. And the stuff that and was in the trailer pizza at some point. and got pizza and ate the pizza. Except and for some of it. Some of the stuff in the trailer was really heavy. And a lot of it was bolted down. So they ripped up part of the floor in the process and, and all that. Yeah. So, then later we get a text from Steve, I think, saying that they're going to go down to that business at the end of the, the cul-de-sac because, because they did a they U-turn there. Cameras and right street level, right there, like license plate cameras yeah. were like, go, yes. go do it. They were there so long. We're like, what could be taking so long? Like, just show them the cameras. Just go see the cameras. Well, it turns out all the employees were in a meeting getting laid off. Felt yeah. Really bad about I that. felt really awkward and I wasn't even there. Yeah. So after all the employees sadly left, they were able to talk to whoever managed the, the type employees. The cameras, yeah. Well, they tried and tried and tried, they couldn't figure out the password. So they said, come back. Talk about the level of disappointment yeah. of waiting and waiting and waiting. I mean, yeah. I'm sure the laying off people were probably more disappointed than oh, we definitely. are. But like, it was it was disappointing after all this detective work and we're like, we're going to figure out this guy's license plate. We're going to get him, yeah. right? Because at this point, even though, you know, like, I think dad probably told the cops that it was a white truck and that the they cops have footage were there. They, they, well, well, of that footage first of the dentist. Yeah, yeah. but I, I don't mean, think like, there was any need at this point to send the other and one. It's not like they fingerprinted the trailer. No. Didn't they didn't even look inside. Care. They didn't even look to see if it was empty, full. They Which is so weird. They but didn't look. Whatever. In fact, they even forgot to get his information. <laughs> like they didn't even verify it was his trailer. Oh, yeah. Anyway, okay. cops are fine. We're good. With I just I, 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 I appreciate a, that they even showed up. Yeah. and and I but appreciate it. But sometimes you gotta do a little detectiving yourself. So yeah. Anyway, so. Then, Pause. I don't yes. think it's... Oh, yes, is it, it is. Yes. Hello. Hello, squeaky doll. Play. Okay. So that was the bulk of Tuesday. Yes. So they had told us... Us. Come Everything back Thursday. is us. It's not us. 
They said come back Thursday, so that was Tuesday. Because they'll have the come password back Thursday. They'll Thursday. have the password. They told them who That's to talk to and everything. Today. Come back today. So, Wednesday. They went to work and they just did work stuff pretty much. But. Pretty much. He, husband, Mike, was interviewing a potential employee. Which is in an office that is right by all the windows by the street. Like, the rest of the warehouse doesn't, you can't see the street. But there, this one office, you can see the street. So he's in the middle of an interview. It's my husband, the CEO, and this guy. This guy. And then in the middle of this interview, and all of a sudden, my husband sees a white truck come down the street. Looks, and, and, and it's not just like a white truck, like a white truck. Like we could see that the grill was very unique in one of the videos. I, I mean, you know it's not saying. a Dodge. You know true, it's not a, like you true. Could, you could tell. You could tell what you brand it was. You could definitely tell what brand it was and what kind of a truck it was. And this truck came down the street. And it had the same wheels and everything. So, so if you just say white truck, you're gonna make it sound like a psycho yeah, okay. creeper. Like, it was a particularly white truck, and he saw it come down the street. He jumps up, runs. It doesn't say anything to anyone. He jumps up, <laughs> runs outside, and takes pictures of the thing. Going up and down. See the driver. So it the had license come in. Plate. It went down. It stopped in a spot where it could look back and see the trailer for about twenty seconds, and then it went out. So at this point, we have recovered the trailer. It's back in the yeah. trailer spot now. And there's a camera directly on it now. <laughs> but yeah. So he sends me pictures. I'm like, you got the plate. How did this happen? I thought yeah. it was video, but it wasn't from the right angle from the place down the street and all the one across the street. And I'm like, I just don't get it. So that's when he told me. The guy who happened. So yes. he, he walks back in and just sits down and continues with the meeting, the interview, like nothing happened. Nobody asks, nobody says anything. So as soon as they're done with that, he goes across the street. He's now like besties with the guys over there. In fact, I think we're going to end up getting some windows from them for the cabin, but whatever. So he goes over to his bestie over there and he's like, hey, I want to look at the footage from just now because I want to see there was some stickers on the back window. He's like, I want to see if the stickers are on the in this footage, in the if footage, I can see it now. Because footage is a little grainy. It's and so it's really grainy. hard to see. So if you can see the stickers now, now but you couldn't the other day, then probably, probably not, not the same, same truck. So they look and you can barely Dad's make blind. out. Yeah, he, he said he could barely make out maybe there was some stickers. So then they looked at the older footage and he couldn't see anything, but it doesn't really mean anything because he can't see. And what are the chances that this truck, I mean, we think it was the guy that came back to see because he didn't stop at a business or anything, and mm -hmm. this is not something that you just, like, accidentally find yourself no. on this road. It's a difficult place to find. It's really hard to get there. <laughs> and he ran the stop sign, which is what he did when he stole the trailer both came. ways. He, he, well, okay, it's only a one-way stop sign, but, I mean, every time he came in, he ran the stop sign. Yeah. Seems kind of... Pattern of behavior. Yeah. So... Today. Today is Thursday, and Dad went over to the cul-de-sac business to go get the, for well, for them to put in the password so we could get the street-level footage of the license plate. They don't know the password. They so still don't know the password. They have to call Clipit. I'm like, give me the number. That I'll call Clipit. So we still don't know. I was it. really <laughs> hoping to have an end, like a little conclusion of, yes, yeah. this is the guy, this isn't the guy. Maybe we just totally, like, told the story of some poor man that just drove into our cul-de-sac. Don't know. Proven innocent until proven guilty. But I gotta say, it was emotionally disturbing to have someone steal that. Like, you just feel so violated. Like, why would you steal a trailer and then steal everything? And I felt so bad for the trailer. Like, for me, seeing... Because he would send me pictures and video and stuff so I could see some of it. Seeing the, the picture of the trailer coming out of other property... Well, I mean, we don't own it, but you know what I mean. The shop being attached to a different truck, it was so hard for me to look at. Like, I felt so sad for that poor trailer. It's not even like they're using it for that same purpose, just for themselves. No. Like, they just needed a to-go hose trailer, like. Yeah, no. no. And I was most mad about the pizza crust. Yeah, that didn't bother because me that's at just, all. Because that's just rude. That's the description. Like, you need stuff, you need the money, you whatever. Like, that's rude. But, but then you eat pizza and then just throw your trash on the floor. Yeah. That makes me mad. I like yeah. that. So hopefully next week we'll have a conclusion for you. Call corporate. Get that password. Because at some point it's going to overwrite. I know. And I'm, I'm really hoping it's not this weekend that it overwrites. Yeah, because mine, some of mine do. I believe it turned out it was stolen on Sunday, if I am not mistaken. Yeah. So. Um, 
Yeah. I mean, who knows? Maybe the cameras don't even work because they haven't been locked into for how, knows. Knows how yeah, long. We don't know. Yeah, we don't know. <laughs> oh, well. But that's like the key to everything because if he can get a plate, if he can see the stickers, that's the guy. Yeah, but then like also what does that mean though? I mean, you give it Probably to the police not. and you hope that they do something. I hope they get a warrant, go to his house, find all the stolen stuff, and arrest him. And I hope they find a bunch of other people's stolen stuff so all these people get their stuff back. That happened the other day near my neighborhood. This guy stole a bunch of trailers and dune buggies and stuff, and they found it all. So you can go claim your In stuff. fact, it was right about the same time, because I remember yep, you it was said... the same morning that the trailer was stolen, and I'm <laughs> like, maybe I should look through all the pictures. Yeah. <laughs> Just in case. Yeah, you said you went through them. Yeah. So that was a week. It was kind of stressful, because sad about the trailer <laughs> and then the virus thing i kind of stopped looking at facebook because i have to admit i have anger issues now and it's completely unfair but when i see all these people that get all this time off it makes me like i'm happy for the people i i have no hard feelings towards anyone and i know that a lot of people are suffering and going through some really horrible stuff right now but i see all that time people are stitching stitch. and i can't and i, I get so frustrated i've kind of stopped looking at stitchy stuff and then when I look at non stitchy stuff, it's a bunch of people fighting about politics and this and that. I don't want to fight. I just want everyone to be happy, be happy, happy. Speaking, speaking of happy, for my birthday, I made cookies. I did the flood decorating cookies. So there's a picture of my cookies and Jacob's cookies because he did cookies too. Cool. Did a good and job. it's very happy. I want to do it more, actually. It's kind of addicting. And there's lots of extra icing that we have, so if I just made cookies, I could definitely. I say there's more. probably got to be a cheaper way to do it than. Oh yeah, yeah, that. yeah. That was but learning how to do it. Now it really it's cheap and good. easy. I made a yep. bean dip. Yep, yep, and then I had my unicorn cake. And food, other food we fed her. And an orchid, of beauty, because it's my favorite flower. I love orchids. So that's it. That's all for this week. We'll see you next week. Bye.